Lisa here. This is Lisa 63, and here is God's strength for you and me this day. Our scripture reading is coming from Hosea 10 and 12. Hosea 10 and 12. So for yourselves righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. I want to focus on this. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. What is fallow ground? What is fallow ground? We're in the fall, and in the fall, the month of October, is when we get our lawns aerated, which means they're going to take a, a little pitchfork thing and dig holes into the ground, into the ground, and plant seeds so you can have nice grass when the summer comes. God, Hosea, is reminding the people, first of all, about all the things that they've done against the Lord against God, their father. Now he's telling them, it's time for y'all to get it together. The fallow ground is this. The fallow ground is, let me find it. It's time to cultivate, to fallow, the fallow ground is to cultivate land that's not being harvested. Just like a farmer takes and tills the ground and prepare it for crop. That's what Jose is telling the people. It's time to cultivate, not your ground, literal ground, but your soul. It's time for you to cultivate your life. Break up that part of your life, that thing that you're still holding on to, that's still hard as a rock. You know, we've not had much rain, so the ground is very dry. We can see cracks in it. What part of your life has cracks in it that you need to cultivate? And allow the Lord to bring righteousness. What is righteousness? Virtue. Goodness. Meaning, we all got some good in us. We just got to get down there and cultivate that land. Cultivate the soul. We all got good in us. As Hosea is reminding the children of Israel and Judah, we all got some goodness in us. You just got to cultivate it. <laughs> That's today's trip. Start cultivating your land today so God can bring out all the goodness in your life. Mm. This has been Lisa with Lisa 63. You go. Make it a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Be blessed.